Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. We're at home. We have a load that's leaving tomorrow evening. Well, actually, the truck and I are leaving tomorrow evening. Another run to Kenora. We're going to pick that up first thing Monday morning. Deliver it in Minnesota on Monday afternoon. Then we're going to head down to Burlington, Iowa again. Pick up another load down there and bring it up to Saskatchewan. But for today, we're at home. It's getting chilly in the mornings already, overnight. No frost on the ground today, but yesterday I got up and all the grass was white with frost already. That's a sign. Christmas is coming. <laughs> you thought I was going to say winter. Chevy. How's it going? Being a good boy. Jeez. Wiener's over there somewhere, sniffing around. These trees in our backyard, they lose their leaves so late in the season. We don't really have time to rake them up now. We might. That tree's not fully empty yet. But uh, we might have to do it in spring. What's up, big guy? What's up, big wiener? Are you hungry? You like some breakfast? Chevy, you hungry? Yep. Yeah. Alright guys, let's go inside. Let's get you some breakfast. And I gotta wake up Theo. Theo was already rolling around and stirring a little bit, so... And he's gonna be up and demanding to get up and play in no time. just gonna be a quick little update so the time at home is finished we're about to go to work I think it's gonna be a full week of work this time not just a couple of days <laughs> remember from last week uh, it was a bit of an off week that's for sure we uh, had the truck getting service on the Monday on Tuesday diesel was put to sleep Wednesday was sort of a day of mourning I took the day off a day of grief a day of just I didn't want to just go straight back to work uh, for one I didn't want to just get back right into the swing of things. I don't think I could. And I didn't want to leave Britain alone at home either. So I uh, stayed home Wednesday and then Thursday we ended up leaving in the evening. Or was it Wednesday evening? No, we ended up leaving Wednesday evening. Thursday we did that roundabout with uh, De Brainerd and back. And that was it from last week. So this week we're going to Kenora tonight. Sleep there. Tomorrow morning we're going to load go to Brainerd, unload, and then continue on down to Burlington, Iowa, like I've been saying. Get down there. The following day, we're going to load a load of tires again, pick that up, and bring that up to Saskatchewan. So instead of bringing it back here and get someone else to deliver it from here like we did last week, I'm just going to take it all the way through myself straight there. That way I get the, the whole piggy bank for it. So I'm hooked back up onto my trailer. I got that step deck behind me right now, number 130. And, uh, Head on down to Kenora. Won't be much of a vlog. I'm just here to update you, telling you what's coming, I guess. Uh, I wanted to pick up the camera. I got in the truck now. I was like, you know what? I want to say hi to them. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm slowly getting past losing diesel. I mean, I'm never going to fully get past it, but I feel like I'm kind of getting myself back. But then it goes up and down, right? It goes up and down. For right now, I'm feeling good. Tonight, I might not feel as good again, but you know, he was a good. He's a good boy, but he wouldn't want me to stay miserable forever. He would want me to uh, move on and enjoy life. I know, that's, that's, if he could talk, that's the first thing he'd say. He'd say, Josh, you know what? Dad, you gotta enjoy your life. He's okay, he's fine, he's in a better place. He's waiting for me. So that's what I'm gonna do. Some people have asked, are you gonna get another dog? Well, it's a little too soon to ask that, if I'm being honest, too soon. <laughs> So that's not on our minds. So right now that's a that's a no. We're not getting another dog. Uh, we've discussed this already long before Diesel even went. We're 
we're gonna keep our dog pack at a maximum of two dogs from now on. And we have Chevy and we have Wiener at home still, so that's enough for us. Wiener's 14 years old, hopefully he'll live a few years yet. He's really healthy, so. But then again, so is Diesel. You know, it's, they're healthy until suddenly they're not, right? And then uh, they go downhill quickly, and before you know it, they're gone. So uh, enjoy your time with your pets and with your dogs and cats and whatever pets you have. It's just the way life goes, right? But you know, we're gonna get his urn back hopefully next weekend and go pick it up and we'll have Diesel with us again forever. And uh, that'll be the final closure. So will I get another dog ever? Well, yeah, one day. We're never gonna be a house without a dog. We've decided that. We'll always have a dog. I should never say never, right? But we'll probably always have a dog, but we won't be around looking for another dog anytime soon. We're happy with what we have. And uh, we'll just take it from here. One day at a time, right? One day, of course, I'd love to have another buddy in here. Definitely not ready for that now. Right now, I still feel like Diesel's spirit is riding with me here. And he's gonna be here with me well, for the rest of my life, probably, but I'm gonna ride with I'm gonna ride with him a little while longer before I get another one to join.